part three of our Sigma Z lenses review. The Barbican Trilogy. Now we have the lens that is in the middle of the Sigma Z lineup is 30mm 1.4, which is on the DX camera equivalent of 45mm or 50 at 1.4. So we're going to take some shots and tell you all about this lens, how good it is or not, so you can make an educated decision, either buy it or not. There you go. Oh, yeah, okay, now I see it. All right, Becky, tell us about all those nasty things that we normally will ask about, like vignette in purple fringe and you name it. So if we're talking optical artifacts on this lens, at 1.4, you get a little bit of vignetting, you get a little bit of corner softness, but it actually handles itself by about 1.8 and 2F2. You do get a lot of purple fringing at 1.4. Again, that disappears as soon as you stop it down. But one thing I do like about this lens is how dreamy it looks when you shoot at the closest focusing distance. So if you're going in for those kind of close shots, then you blow out the background, it looks lovely. You don't get the starbursts that you get from, let's say, a Voigtlander lens. So if you're trying to decide whether to go for a 35 Voigtlander DX or a 30mm Sigma DX, it's going to be down to what your personal preference is more than anything. But if you want modern rendering, then this is the lens to look at. I found a bird of paradise, right? Which is a beautiful flower. But what's really funny is most people think that that's the beak. Now, actually, that's the tail. And these are supposed to be the wings. And then the beak is supposed to be the stem. Thank you, Becky Attenborough. <laughs> You're welcome. Just in case you ever wondered. Well, you know me, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Is 30 millimeter from Sigma for DX mount, is that a winner for them? I think that overall center sharpness is really, really good. It's small and light enough that you can kind of carry it everywhere. And I would recommend it if you're looking for a nice nifty 50 for your DX camera. Again, Nikon doesn't make anything like this for DX mount. So this is the best lens in town. That's right. We hope you enjoyed this review video. If you did, please give us a like and a subscribe. Found this video super useful. Today, super thanks, Bass Well, don't forget about that. <laughs>